Real People, Five Real Life Stories, Alexander the Survivor, Sebastian's Successful Private Priest, Cesar and His Five Kids, Nine Siblings in Two Rooms, Five of Them Became Doctors, Michaela Young Rich Widow. Five Amazing Life Stories of Five People I Know and Get Inspired By. Before we dive in other people's life stories, I present you my best-selling ebook about best talks from Enrich Talks, Solve Life Problem Solutions. In description of this video, you will find the link to my amazing Etsy shop. The first story is about my friend, Alexander the Survivor. He survived a car accident, they were five boys in their twenties in a car, all of them died, my friend Alexander get out from the car on his own legs. He was an average sportsman in those days, his career ended suddenly. His twin brother was 3,000 kilometers away from him, working in another country, and felt something different in that day after the accident happened, strange unique emotions. Inner feelings. And called his brother a few hours after the accident. The bond between twin brothers is spiritual and has no earth distance. My friend Alexander the Survivor is a Roman Catholic Christian, and his girlfriend at that time was Orthodox Christian studying medicine, they married after a few years. They divorce, and one of the reason is the huge education difference between them, and social family background. Love is not enough. She was the only girl of a rich family, he was an average worker, coming from a poor family. She wanted to live the rich lifestyle as she did before getting married, meanwhile his husband could not cross some mind barriers, money issues, even faith family values, she earns twice as him. Plus a seven years age gap, when men want children, women delay having kids before age 35, she wants to enjoy money and free time, zero family responsibilities for that moment in life. They divorced, and he moved in other country, where his brother was already a resident. She remarried with a doctor, my friend Alexander the survivor came back in his native country after seven years, and moved to another city. Another amazing story, is about a young boy who wanted to become priest. But because of corruption, nepotism and bribery, and being charismatic, from a poor family, honest believer. You always must eliminate the competition with any costs. Still God, had another plan for young boy. After years, following the life experiences and life circumstances, only the will of God was. He moved in a small city and with the help of some true friends, he started a private church. For everyone who believed in God and wanted change in their life. The church is a success, because it is authentic and comes in help for the needs of society, in this moment in history. A small community church approaching 200 members, no name religion, just believers in God. I am a member in this church, after my old traditional Catholic church where I grew up, almost closed due the social economic and bad management. The boy became an adult and a priest, who is loved and respected by his small community, although big family. Life stories, are about big families. Caesar meet his wife, he was 42 and his wife 38. She said to him since the first day that she will make him five kids. And she made it, because the planets had aligned, God has showed mercy for them. And finally God decide to make these two souls meet. Caesar is a man leading other men to become great. And his wife was a woman doing the same thing for women. It is a miracle, both educated, intellectual. Helping thousands of couples and families to solve their life problems and rediscover love. Why is Caesar the role model also for many young boys? Because he insists that being an authentic man, good-shaped and rich enough, believer and faithful, is the only way to find and marry a good woman, the mother of your kids. Another story I have, is about a family of nine kids. One mother and one father, five girls, and four boys. Five of them became doctors, and one of the girls married a millionaire. They lived until age 20 in a three-room apartment, one bathroom. Example, one room's for the girls, and one boy's room, parents' room. The fact is they were not poor, they just didn't afford a bigger house. Five of them became doctors, the boys are hard workers, together are a real authentic Christian family. 
They are a real lesson about big family management, what is important in life. When you don't have enough space to live. The last story is about a friend of mine called Michaela. She didn't learn very well in school, but she had the school of life. She married a guy who owned a driving school. This guy was the only child of his parents, and the sad part of the story is that he died due heart attack during a football game, he died on the field. Michaela remained with the business of her husband and remarried after a few years. She grew the business and remake her life. Never give up. In description of this video you will find a talk about why people die young, and a talk about motivation. We all have options in life, not everyone is taking the decision, not everyone is taking the risk or the steps to change their life. We are comfortable right now, why change?